with that, let's move on into the next track here, guys. Welcome back. Thank you, as always, for joining me, coming on through. Uh, let's move on to the next track, which is going to be not Marquee Moon, because we've listened to the title track already. You can find that somewhere in the backlog. Uh, we're going to move on to Elevation Television, which makes me think of Low Elevation, because I live in Florida, which is a little a little close to that sea level. Uh, <laughs> and then it makes me think of the highest elevation I've, I've probably been, which is probably Jungfrau over in Switzerland. It's probably the highest I've ever been. For some of you, the highest you've ever been was right now, maybe? I don't <laughs> I don't know what you're doing when you're listening to the, to the, <laughs> the videos. Um, but I will say, did go up a mountain in Colombia once. Was not, was not fun. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to the track. We'll talk about it after. Billy loves playing on the hi-hats. Interesting, it's like it's cut like a beat early. Fred's killing it. I love the space plane. I'm genuinely not trying to make a pun or anything, but I couldn't help thinking as we near the end of this song that each track that we've listened to just keeps on one-upping the next. This is, so far, an all-killer, no-filler album. Elevation feels like a little bit of an epic within the mid, or the midst of this album. We're on the first track of the second side, and you turn it over, you get this, you're greeted with this ever-expanding journey on the album. I like how, first of all, Billy on the drums, I like that main beat, how he's just kind of moving a marching pattern from the snare onto the hi-hat, so he's playing and it explodes off of that. I just, I really like that. Um, I do have a question though. I'm really enjoying Tom's guitar, especially in this particular track. I don't know anything about the band, Tom, all that stuff. Is Tom a bit of an underrated guitarist? And the only reason I'm asking that is because his solos, such as in this track in Elevation, have been so powerful, very melodic, so emotional they sound very well played i don't know anything from a technical standpoint guitar wise so maybe it's not like the most complicated thing i don't know but that doesn't matter i'm talking about the emotional i'm talking about is he looked at with any sort of reverence in the guitar community because from what i'm hearing he does have a lot of technique in it. he's making his guitar speak it's singing the solo in here was particularly captivating i thought i'm just finding a lot of entertainment and and energy listening to his guitar and then fred's bass playing here as well especially in the break just warmly pulsing along in the music gentle and yet once again captivating uh here i'm just i don't know there's something about that and then richard lloyd who i don't think i've mentioned really but he's also playing guitar and involved in the vocals and i can't oh actually Actually, it does say here. So Richard Lloyd is the one that's playing the guitar solo in Elevation. Okay, I, sh I guess I should have read that before I spoke. So I don't know if I'm talking about Verlaine or Lloyd, whoever's doing the other guitar work in here, but pr let's talk about Lloyd. Okay, is Richard Lloyd underrated <laughs> in the guitar community? Because I really enjoy the way that he's playing here. And once again, this song is so dynamic. It has a lot of emotional capacity, a lot of feeling to it is really really good it's really good uh the last word is the lost word. oh and then that moment of course in the music where it like cuts off a little early i you forgot to mention that where it cuts off and then kind of explodes it took me a while to catch it because it's not on beat at all it just kind of it's like a you you have your beat you have your music playing and it just cuts off like it skips it's an interesting little little throw in there that actually kind of adds to the music makes it more uh unique i guess you could say the last word is the lost word. Why don't you say so? Say so. I sleep light on these shores tonight. I live light on these shores. Elevation don't go to my head. Elevation don't go to my head. So what I'm thinking of that is, you know, he's so high up. He's hoping the elevation doesn't make him sick, give him altitude sickness. What could this actually mean in relation to the first verse? I don't know. Now you give me no trouble and you give me no help. It is the clown that works so well. Our lips are sealed, our breath is burning. These cold, wild seas have left us turning. But I sleep light on these shores tonight. I live light on these shores. 
So perhaps they're in a, a troubled spot. Perhaps his life in the moment is, is in a troubled spot. But regardless, he still feels some sort of comfort here. He says, but I sleep light on these shores tonight. Which at first I thought was a positive, but maybe also could be looked at as a negative. I sleep light on these shores tonight. Like he's sleeping lightly, like anything will wake him up, anything will disturb him. So it actually could be uh, not necessarily a good thing. Let me see if I can find anything for this particular track here. Uh, it says, let's see, hold on, I got, I got something here. The lyrics also incorporate, this is talking about the album in general, really. The lyrics also incorporate maritime imagery, including the paradoxical, nice little boat made out of ocean in See No Evil, the waterfront setting in Elevation, Sea Metaphors and Guiding Light. Well, we haven't gotten all of those there. Uh, so I guess it doesn't tell me anything necessarily <laughs> about this particular track. Uh, well, I do like the imagery that they mentioned here before, but I just want to know what is it? What is it about? I don't know. Anyways, good track though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. As always, thank you so much for being here and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.